Hey, everybody. Uh, thanks again for joining me today. Uh, and yesterday seemed to be great response, great interest in, in learning how we can uh, upgrade the LAS uh, from DJI Terra with the DJI L1 payloads uh, within our LP360 software. So if you remember yesterday, we spent the time uh, importing the data, upgrading the LAS, uh, adding some point source ID and starting to analyze the strips and, and, and see what we've done and how it's improved the data so far. Um, we noticed that there was some misalignment between a few of the strips. We'll analyze that a little further. Actually run the strip align tool and analyze a few other tools we have within LP360 that are some of my favorites that I think y'all will like as well. Uh, so first thing we're going to do actually is cut a cross section again uh, in between uh, uh, the green and red strips. Um, I'll make these a little bit smaller. Currently they're 8 meters wide so we'll run them about half a meter. Um, open up that trend line. So again we can see you know, the red strip and the green strip are sitting on top of one another, causing some excess noise. So what we're going to do, we can actually um, create a shape file over this area here and actually come back and revisit this, um, you know, after the fact, after we run this tool. So we'll call this strip align and it'll have a polygon there. So we know to come and take a look here. Let's go look on the, on the green and blue strip as well. Um, and cut a cross section over there as well so we can actually analyze it further um, after we run the tool. Make my strip a little bit smaller again uh, so we can see that blue and green strip sitting on top of one another. So we'll want to uh, go and actually uh, revisit and look at this area after we've run the tool uh, to make sure uh, that our strip line worked. So let's draw another polygon here, do the same thing, call it strip line. This is great for if you're working with the project with multiple different teams and you want another team member to go in and analyze something after the fact as well. Uh, you can share these shape files around and edit the point cloud as needed. Um, so if you remember, we worked from left to right uh, on the project yesterday. Uh, today, we're going to work on the strip line tool here. So we'll click it. We're going to grab uh, the, the LAS that we created with, with the uh, trajectory file. We're going to name this aligned LAS, submit this job. The cool thing about uh, LP360 is this, this tool is going to run in the background and once it's done, it'll give me a check mark up here. It'll actually also send me an email uh, to my inbox um, if you're, you're working on some other things. Um, but while, while that tool is running, we'll take a look at a couple different features uh, within LP360. One of my favorites first is if I'm looking at it you know, by elevation or if I want to look at it uh, RGB with a colorized point cloud, I can do so. If I'm looking at it by elevation, I don't want to uh, look at the point cloud. I can actually look at it um, as a 10 uh, and zoom around. So it looks, helps you see the features a little bit more. Um, one of my all-time favorite tools that I think uh, many of you will benefit from, especially if you're using the, the DJI L1 as a, an inspection tool, is our Image Explorer. So if I open up the Image Explorer tab, um, I can actually click on anywhere on the point cloud. Let's say I wanted to view this railroad right here. If I click on the point cloud there, it'll actually open up every image um, that uh, is associated with that point cloud. And I can actually click on different images and get a, a 3D point just from the images itself. So I click on this building as well. It's going to pull up all the images associated with that part of the, the LiDAR point cloud. And these are independent of themselves. So it's using the imagery, uh, not, the, not a photogrammetry point cloud, but using the LiDAR point cloud and the IMU data from the scanner uh, to be able to pull up the associated images. Um, for that particular part of the part of the data set. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Again, same thing. Um, I can zoom in and out, view all those images, uh, different angles and whatnot. Uh, so pretty cool. And I wouldn't doubt that our strip line job is complete. As you notice, it is. We'll click, click on it, click post process real quick. Click yes. Once, once it's done uh, importing, we'll be able to go and analyze that point cloud again um, by looking at that new aligned LAS layer. Uh, so we'll first open up the one we were just working on, cut a cross section in the same area that we knew had some issues. So this is the original point cloud um, that we've upgraded to LAS 1.4 and added some point source ID. I'll make it again small enough where we can see it. Those are those trend lines uh, for that particular area. Now we'll change to our new point cloud, the aligned point cloud. And as you can see, those strips line up much better than they have before. So if you, let's go back and look at it again. 
This is the original LinkedIn LAS uh, without any strip alignment. Um, here's what that point cloud looks like now that we've run on the strip align. So I can scroll all up and down this point cloud and you can see that those two strips now sit on top of each other like they're supposed to, or sit within each other like they're supposed to, not on top of each other like they were. Um, if I go back and cut a cross section on the green and blue point cloud, we can see the same thing as well. Again, this was the original, the blue sitting on top of the green, causing some inherent noise. This is before even running any smoothing or any uh, denoising of the point cloud. We're getting them all aligned and sitting within each other like they're supposed to. So this tool right here is extremely powerful. You know, with the, the DJI one not having um, a super precise IMU, this can help enhance the data and bring it to the level of, uh, you know, a much more advanced LiDAR scanner uh, that you can get a lot of great stuff from. Um, so that's, that's a quick demonstration of LP360 drone and the strip line tool uh, using a DJI L1 sensor, as well as some other cool tools looking at the image explore tab um, and being able to, to manipulate the point cloud a little bit. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow and we'll go through the, the denoising of the data uh, along with some other tools. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.